G'day, I'm Bob from Paradise and we're going to talk about preparing your plants for the cold winter months ahead. Not that it's that cool yet, we're into May and there's still plenty of good growing weather. Uh, all areas in, around Australia except for up in the tops, you can still get good growth from May right through to June. July and August get a bit cool. So you've got to look after your plants and especially if they're a bit more cold sensitive. Uh, you, there's lots of different things that you can you can do for your plants to, just to keep them you know, a bit warmer in, in winter. Um, there's First of all there's overhead protection like you can move your plants under alcinite or um, plastic or under some other hard cover um, or you can um, you can move them inside if that's, if that's all, you, all you've got. Um, remembering that if you've got indoor plants you move them inside on sunny days get them outside for a while and really if you're on an indoor um, plant rotation you should be rotating them every couple of weeks if you can but but um, some like it's not going to hurt many plants to move them inside for six weeks something like that and get get them outside in sunny days if you can talking about um, covers you can always um, knock up a um, temporary cover like this see how we've got this igloo covered for the window we've just did it it's just a cheap clear plastic very inexpensive to buy that material from um, horticultural agencies. Um, Fernland agencies will send it to you if you want to ring them up. Um, this is a product called Solar Weave, a bit more, a bit more expensive. We use that, that one as well. A few hundred dollars a roll for 50 metres. Um, and this is, the, this is a clear plastic product here um, that I was just, just talking about. So you, you do have those options and you can also move your plants near a warm um, in a warm situation in the garden where the sun reflects off a, off a wall. So you've got those sort of possibilities. And with the, um, it's a good time to, to fertilise. Not, not that they're going to start uptaking much fertiliser from now on, because you need soil temperatures, I think it's about 21 degrees, 22 degrees, to, to do much uptake um, with your normal fertilisers. Um, but if you, if you do um, use your, your um, slow release fertilizers they'll be absorbed into the soil and your plant will be ready to go that's sort of like a hard release material the, the fertilizer it's got a hard coat the fertilizer comes out slowly as the coat breaks down you can get three month um, coats three three month material and you can get six month and nine month as well this one's um, neutral coat I think it is and there's Osma coat and there's another other products on the market as well so you use those and your plants ready are ready to kick off in spring um, but there's also vermicast fantastic uh, stuff there's, I've got some here there's um, absolutely billions and billions of plant microbes in that so that's worm vermicast beautiful stuff no smell at all plants love it and they'll think it's they'll think it's spring right through winter if you use that on your plants spray it around we've got a um, a um, video underneath this one showing you just how you can apply it lots of lots of different ways but what we do is just get a handful like that throw it into a 25 litre bucket of water and spray it all around the place and um, and uh, your plants will, will love it for you because those the microbes in this are beneficial plant microbes and they protect the leaves they help the, le the roots absorb um, nutrients and um, protect uh, invaders from the outside and and your plants will be uh, much stronger through the winter months and as I said they'll think it's spring. Um, there's another another product that we can we can actually send to you called Flora Guard. That'll if you're in a frosty area, um, well that's that's um, will help protect your plant against frost against frost. But don't um, be overly confident because it, it will help. Um, and we send it out in containers this size. That's uh, Flora Guard. Um, positioning of your, your plant to, to get the um, most sun um, is very helpful for winter. A lot of plants you can have them facing into the full full sun, especially if you've got them in the pot. I'll just show you over here how we've got a jade vine positioned. Just come over through here, Dylan. Just past those elephant foot. These are our giant elephant foot we're just trying to get some seed going from 
these are 60 year old plants look at just have a look at the base of them there 60 years old yeah, here's another one here so we're trying to get some seed off them this year but if you look down here is it our jade vine we've got position it's going close there that's we've only just planted that this um uh, three months ago and it's climbing up on this app see how we've got an apparatus here for to climb up onto and to climb along there and we've got it positioned so it'll get the sun in the uh, in the winter months the sun will shine through there on the little lover I guess the same goes through our um, giant elephant foot this and see how we've got it rigged with um, bamboo we've got lots of bamboo growing around here so we just cut them off and, and make um, something for them to grow on um, you can also protect your plants this way if you want to protect something from frost you can build a TP like that and just put some, some plastic over it now, now with your um, tropical plants they hate being cold and wet at the same time they're adapted to dry conditions sure when it's hot but they don't like being cold and wet so if you're um, in a cooler climate need to keep them a little bit on the drier side have them in a really well drained potting mix not just what the manufacturer says this is a well drained potting mix no a potting mix that's got some coarse material in it that I've shown you at previous times more like a, a, a um, 50, some 15 millimeter bark say 15 or 20 percent in there mixed in with it so you get good free flow of water and it's not going to get wet and cold at the same time winter goes for all anything that comes from the subtropics or the tropics and you won't be killing it in winter so if you just keep those um, ideas in mind I'm sure that your plants will love the winter and they'll be really ready to go in spring okay thanks that's all for now and remember you can do it and we'll see you next time